after two straight subpar games now, um, I had said last week I still expected Matthew Stafford to be the MVP of the NFL. And clearly it's going to be difficult to climb back from that now after two games where he just has not played particularly well. Troy Aikman this week made the comment that he felt like Matthew Stafford was starting to feel some of the pressure of having Odell Beckham on his team, similar to what Baker Mayfield did. And uh, listen, Troy Aikman's going to know better than me, but boy, right out of the gate, that would feel, uh, that feels like it's a pretty strong comment to make off of one game the other night, no? Uh, yeah, extremely strong. I mean, especially Odell only played 12 plays. So how can you how can you say that off of 12 plays? The first play was a design play uh, by Sean McVay to get the ball to Odell. The next play was kind of a broken play where Stafford just threw it up and it was a pick. But he only played 12 plays out of, I don't know, 65, 70? Um, I love Troy Aikman. Troy is one of my best friends, mm. um, you know, as far as his friends in the industry. But I'm, I'm just a little curious of the fact that how he could make that or surmise that after basically what amounts to two drives. Well, one thing I think we can agree on is that he does not look right. Something, something is off with Matthew Stafford right now. To me, and this is pure speculation, and I'm not saying by any stretch that he is hurt, but he looks like something may not be physically uh, he may not be physically 100% right now with some of the throws that he's uh, making. And maybe it's unfair to say that, but when you watch him right now, what does it look like to you? Well, um, to me, it looks like a team that's built to run the football, that they haven't quite committed to the run. They're committing to the drop back passing game and their offensive line is not playing well. Therefore, the quarterback, his clock is sped up in his head. And so, you know, Stafford isn't playing uh, at peak level Stafford that we saw earlier in the season. But I think he has to work through these things because, Chris, I've told a lot of people this. We came into this season, this season with one question. Was Matthew Stafford a great player trapped in a bad situation in, in Detroit? Or was Matthew Stafford a good player that couldn't elevate the situation in Detroit? And now he's going to get exposed when people think he's a great player. I I would lean to say that Matthew Stafford is one of the better – like he's a top 15 quarterback. What say you? Higher than that. I think he's higher than that. And when, when I watched him in Detroit, the excuses were easy, right? They were never a good team. It was never his fault. But I look at him now, and what I saw for the first eight, nine weeks of the season compared to what I've seen for the last two weeks – that's what leads me to believe that something's not right because he had been at a sustained level of excellence for those first eight, nine weeks of the year considering everything he had around him. Now, they've lost Robert Woods. That obviously doesn't hurt because he had a very good rapport with him. He's a big part of that offense. Um, we all worried at the beginning of the year when they lost Cam Akers. That really hasn't been as big of a factor as maybe we would have expected. I... I think he's more of a top 10 quarterback and you're going to see the best of him in this circumstance. I just can't put my finger on what's wrong right now. And so my instant reaction is always to go to, well, something doesn't feel right with him. Maybe something's wrong with him physically. And he was dealing with uh, something with his hand last week, if I'm not mistaken. How about he just playing? He, he played bad. I mean, let, let's not always have to make excuses for the quarterback just because he didn't play well. Uh, I mean, Tom Brady threw two interceptions. I don't hear anyone saying, man, what's wrong with Tom? Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, he's thrown two interceptions two games in a row. Now, they had a bye week in between, but he's got four interceptions in the last two games. Are we making excuses for Tom? So why all of a sudden does something have to be wrong with Matthew Stafford? To me, that's just because of where he is and who he's playing with. That The Beckham thing, I can't put in I, – I, I just – I can't get around that yet. <clears throat> I can't wrap my arms around Beckham being a problem already being there and demanding the ball, especially as you pointed out when he played as, as little as he uh, did the other day. Um, I, I'm sure that Beckham had a lot of responsibility in what went wrong in Cleveland, as he absolutely did in New York. But you listen to Baker Mayfield, he played a role there too. 
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.